this is not a special day. Don't let the heroic music fool you. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. We wanted to give you a glimpse of what our every single day looks like on our side visit to the shipyard. But instead of watching the world's slowest elevator, I think you would rather enjoy checking out what our traditional Turkish breakfast looked like this very morning. So hello from Antalya, Turkey A, and let's go to the shipyard. <laughs> So Bering's driver picks us up every morning to take us to the shipyard. We used to stay at this very nice hotel pretty much on the other side of the Gulf of Antalya, but finally decided that we spend too much time in transit, easily over an hour round trip depending on the traffic, and our time is better spent at the shipyard or catching up on work at the end of the day or just being able to unwind after an action-packed day. So we found a very comfortable hotel nearby and traded luxury for everyday comfort. Hotels in Turkey are actually very affordable and can fit any budget. So now our morning commute is about seven minutes. And yes, these fancy limo vans are a thing in Turkey. We spent our morning commute chatting about the day ahead and catching up on work emails as the seven to eight hour time difference makes it a bit challenging. Our arrival at the shipyard always starts at the main conference room with coffee in tea time while we're getting situated. One sec, Rico has requested I change the music to fit his vibe. And this is the Bearing 80, everyone. Next, we usually start working on our build, which includes technical talks, sometimes conference calls with vendors, Alexi participates whenever he's available, and we might film a little segment with him for you guys about steel yacht building. During lunchtime, while it's nice and quiet, we usually sneak away and check on our build. And as I mentioned, today was no special day. So, all right, we're gonna check on our build. Over the weekend they were doing a whole bunch of work, so we want to make sure we see before we take off what that looks like. Okay. It's lunchtime again, nice and quiet. Well, the only thing you're hearing a loud noise are these fans all in the ceiling. We should go up there. Yeah, that looks a lot. Let's, Let's go. go up Let's there. go up there. This is the dustiest shed, you guys, because this is where they all are going to get sandblasted. And it's the dirtiest part of work. And once that happens, the shed gets cleaned up and the workflow is a little different. It's going to get a lot cleaner here. Fit it into so kind of interesting it's not something you normally see on like a fiberglass boat 
because you don't have this much of a swim platform usually. So it's weird, it's completely different. Did you look into the engine room? I was afraid to go. You want to go? You can go. Man, this is a deep engine room. We're inside of our lower deck area. Upside down Upside still. Upside down still. We're walking on the ceiling. <laughs> yes, this is so bizarre. These are tank access points. Yep. These holes there, yeah, same like this one. And this one. So basically, this is our staircase. We came down this way into this space. Now we're on the ceiling. This whole yeah. space actually is our laundry room. I've looked at the layout so many times and it's still even hard for me. Well, this is the starboard cabin where you're standing in right now. Let's pause here for a second. As this I'm walking on a ceiling tour will make way more sense while we're looking at our final GA together in just a few minutes. Freaking excited. Those windows are just nuts. Right, let's jump over to the superstructure. Okay. I see. That's the reason you wear a helmet. <laughs> it's way taller than my head because I'm the ponytail. Oh man, we uh, we just came from our hall. Absolutely impressive. I mean, I knew it's going to be a big boat, but um, for the length of the boat. We have an almost 24 foot beam. I, I still can't wrap my head around it. I cannot wait to see it joined together and actually really towering in front of us and we can see the, the magnitude, the actual height of the boat. Um, super stoked about it, super, super stoked about it. Can't wait. Alrighty, I'm running over to the meeting with Christina and Victoria to talk about the layout, the interior, actually, or some decisions about that. So, I'm taking you guys with me. Sometimes it's a little difficult. So Victoria wants to already talk about things which are coming you know, in three steps and not right now. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Wish me luck. We're finally, I think, at sort of a final layout. I think this is it. This was signed oh, yeah. and we have a few Zoom calls and phone calls ahead of us. Just finalizing some stuff and then we just want to do the layout before and then jump into those calls. This is exciting because this is pretty much our final. Now anything going forward from this because it was signed is going to be a... A what? Change order? And uh, no. This no? is the first half yeah. of 75. So it's, uh, we were working on, uh, with uh, GA and layout, so yeah. no change orders. Change orders, so we only make, for example, the crane will be the change order. Oh, like an option. Like an option, yeah, because we didn't have before. If I want to add a shelf somewhere, that's not a change order, that's just a design. Yeah. No, that is no, just no, no, no. It, you are speaking about some it's mostly interior part. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. not about the hall, it's not about the layout. Got the, it, okay. There you guys have it. The change order is really just to some major changes or some equipment add-ons oh unlimited supply of coffee and tea like literally unlimited <laughs> it is all the time keep you caffeinated yeah. yes they keep you caffeinated to keep you going thank you so much look at this awesome t-shirt she had going on look turn around turn around. <laughs> <laughs> this is our patreon only t-shirt so it's only special people get it and our patrons <laughs> <laughs> she takes care of us, you guys. It's incredible. I've never seen somebody run around so much. It's absolutely amazing. She's very nice. Okay, so let's spill this. Let's do this. So there wasn't much here, right? We didn't do much. Deck. Yeah, there yeah. is no change to the last. This is GH, where we. Right? Yeah, this is where we started, and there wasn't anything really that we changed at all. Yeah, uh, our next thing the same. Uh, look, it's pretty same. We discussed this place that we don't want to put the fridge or like a small bar here. Yeah, we want to replace it, but it's more for interior design, design stage. Let's say it's gonna be here, as we discussed. Yeah. We kind of figured out that, you know, we're going to have a little door here that's going to take us into this laundry. whole thing is a laundry room. 
and then this we're gonna add a little drink fridge space here which actually after all is gonna have a little surface so maybe maybe we add a little coffee compact machine there we'll think about it but it gives us an opportunity to do that which was on my list and I thought it was gonna be off my list but it's back on so that's exciting let's see so everything here is stays the same all our well let's run through that because we just crawled in to our hall yep. upside down and we actually walked around on the on ceiling, the ceiling. <laughs> and saw the state rooms actually for the first time we were like didn't do it before we only did it on the superstructure so actually let's run through it because maybe i can um, cut back and forth so you guys get an idea of what we were talking about so we crawled in somewhere here right yeah. Nico? In the so well, here. was it the actual no, the stairs was here through. but the hall is like upside down, upside yeah. down. so we so crawled in somewhere down. here yeah. basically this is our staircase we came down this way into this space now we're on the ceiling right here is our laundry room mm -hmm. so a wash and dry is probably gonna get stacked right there and this whole yeah. space actually is our laundry room first we showed you this starboard cabin i've looked at the layout so many times I know. it's still even hard for me well this is the starboard cabin where you're standing in right now so you have this large bed here with a big window yes and the ensuite is right here in this area right here so this whole thing is an ensuite here mm -hmm. it's kind of like that i think yeah kind and of. then this is our hallway, hallway right, in the right middle. Right here in the center. Yeah, kind of like this. Going forward to the VIP. This is our bulkhead. We have a big door here. Yeah. And then this is our port cabin. Our twin cabin with a Pullman on this wall right there. And a really nice head with a giant window, window in the shower. Oh man, this is hard. <laughs> yeah, that's our port oh, cabin. It's our port cabin. It has a huge window in the bathroom. I believe the shower actually, and it's the bathroom. And then we have these twin, twin cabin with a Pullman on that wall there. That's right. It's actually not bad, this cabin, no, especially how tall it is. And I believe this cavity there is the access point to one of the stabilizer fins. Okay, quickly, before they start banging again, let's go forward. This is our VIP cabin. You guys saw this wall, which was our bulkhead. This is a bulkhead, so mm -hmm. the shower and everything of that cabin is behind here. And on this side, we're going to have the same matching wall, yep. the same way. And that's where our bathroom and everything is here, our head with that window. Basically, the bed starts like here. Yep. And this whole space is the cabin. This is a really big cabin. The floor space is up there, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of. This is so weird. Do you think this is our floor sort of leveling? A little higher than this, but almost, yeah. We went all the way back and we saw a primary stateroom. And wow, this was a big space, actually, now looking at it. That was really big. Let's peek into the... Not owner's Primary. cabin. In the prime, well, yeah, whatever you want to call it. But it's not owner's cabin. Our master suite is here. Uh-oh. They're all going to come back. Uh-oh. That's the sign for lunch is over. Welcome to our ridiculously large primary. <laughs> so with these two giant windows and two small windows there. So this portion here, where these windows are, is starts right here, yeah. is our walk-in closet kind of, and then shower, our shower head. and everything. This yeah. is great. Look at the beam, <laughs> right? Wow, too bad we don't get to live in this cabin, but there's gonna be some happy guests in here. This portion is the bed, and then the side T, and then we have a you know a little working desk. And it's gonna be a lot of space. Huge. A lot of space. Yeah, this is really exciting. This is our first time walking through, you guys. Yeah. Somehow we were not ballsy enough to get in here the last couple of days, so I'm glad we did this. You take this. this. Then we couldn't quite see this. We saw this from above. But yeah, this didn't have too many changes. Let's go to the main deck. What yeah. did we all do there? My <laughs> God, I don't even remember last time. We went back and forth so many times. <laughs> you guys playing tag of war with the, yeah. with the layout? <laughs> Just slap him. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs>